Hi, this is Matt Butcher, and I'm going to demonstrate how to use QuerryPath to build a rich website using web services. Now, what we're looking at here is a fairly standard installation of Acquia Drupal. Drupal is a content management system, and you can see there's already some content here, some of which we'll take a look at a little later. And this is basically what standard content in Drupal looks like. You have a title and a byline and one or more paragraphs worth of content. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take query path and we're going to enrich this content by submitting the content to various web services and building up something um, something pretty impressive. And uh, along with query path, kind of the crux of this demonstration is the Open Amplify web service, a fairly new web service that does lexical analysis of documents. We'll see how this plays out as we go along through here. What we're going to do is start by creating an article from scratch. Actually, I copied and pasted some text in the background here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and create a new amplified page. Amplified page is a content type that I created. It, it doesn't really have anything special in it other than um, the fact that I'm using it to key on with my query path code. So we're going to just, this is a uh, uh, the editor's overview of one of my uh, books on Drupal development, uh, learning Drupal 6 module development, and I'm just going to copy and paste this. This came from uh, packedpub.com, Packed Publishing's website. So there's nothing special about this. I didn't do anything in particular. I didn't even write this text. I just copied it and pasted it. So here I go. I've got it here. I've got nothing but the title and the body. No tags, no keywords, nothing. Everything else is set at the default. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. It's going to take a little longer than usual because what it's doing right now is submitting all this content to Open Amplify. Now, Open Amplify just analyzed the content and uh, did a lexical analysis for uh, about a dozen different things <clears throat> and then built up this large XML document that it returned to me, returned to QueryPath. So, QueryPath sent the document up, Open Amplify analyzed it, and sent some XML back. And then QueryPath takes that information and begins building out uh, this kind of robust website. Let's take a glance at what came back. Um, almost everything on both columns here comes from QueryPath and some XML web service. So we've got a pretty fair amount of content. Let me point out what's going on here. First of all, up here in the top, we have the ranking. Now, this is an, it's kind of a tag cloud that I built, and it is doing three things at once. The words appear here in a particular order. Um, Open Amplify analyzed the document and returned information on the frequency of keywords. And this is, the, the order of these reflects frequency. The word Drupal appeared the most, the word Matt was the next most frequently used word, module was the third, and so on. Now that takes care of the ordering of these. Now the size of them uh, indicates how, uh, how much advice or how much instruction this is offering on these particular words. So Drupal and Module are the biggest. What that indicates is that Open Amplify has identified those as the things that, I'm, or that, uh, that this text is instructing you about. And uh, that's pretty much dead on right. Drupal module development, this is a book telling you how to do Drupal module development. So Drupal and module, perfect. And then you'll see here that the other words get smaller and smaller. Now, the third thing I'm sure you've noticed is that these are color-coded as well. Uh, what we see here are green and blue. Blue means that the audience, that, that these concepts here are intended to be neutral concepts and not evoke much of a reaction from the audience. The green ones indicate that there's a positive um, usage of these words, and if we had seen any red ones, that would indicate that there was a negative usage of these words. Uh, and actually, let's take a look at the way that this plays out sometimes. Uh, here's an article here uh, on the recent trade of Jay Cutler from the Broncos to the Bears, and this one here comes from the Denver Post, and you can see from the Denver Post, uh, we have a bunch of green words except for one red word, Chicago, big surprise. Now let's take a look at the Tribune's article on this. Here we've got the Tribune's article, 
And uh, look, here's the uh, most of these are green words. Quarterback is red because the article does mention how many quarterbacks the Bears have gone through in the last 25 years. And big surprise, Denver is red too. So that indicates that in these articles, the word Denver is used negatively. You'll notice also here that Open Amplify is pretty broad in its abilities to handle very disparate forms of content. Here I've got a technical article here, and we just looked at two sports articles there. All right, so uh, I'm sure you haven't been able to keep your eyes focused on just this little box here. Let's see what else is going on here. So along with other data, Open Amplify returns information about what it thinks the domain and subdomain uh, of the content are. Uh, it couldn't actually identify this one, uh, domain, subdomain, and the primary subject headings. Uh, here in the football ones, we get much better uh, recognition. It's these sports and education and football, sports, football, and look at all these topics we have that are pretty much directly related. Uh, location, it'll also look for locations. Again, flipping through these, uh, Chicago, Denver, uh, mentions of Seattle and things like that, and they're also made it into the location list. Um, and then under that, we have a series of three graphs. These measure the flamboyance of the article, which is basically a, a measure of sentence length and word length. So the more flamboyant something is, the longer and more flowery the sentences are. Next we have slang, and finally we have the level of education assumed uh, to be necessary for reading this. And uh, I, I ran several tests on this. Secondary, seem, secondary and college seem to come up fairly frequently with any moderately sized article. If you run it against some scholarly articles, uh, you'll get much higher, you'll get a post-secondary or postgraduate level up here. Uh, I should also point out that these right here, these graphs, are generated by QueryPath. They are not images, they're SSVG, um, Scalable Vector Graphics. Um, what that means is they're built up in XML. If we were to launch Firebug and take a look at and inspect what these look like, what we'll see is that right here we have an SVG document embedded inside of the HTML page. And so we build up an SVG based on the information we're getting back. And again, QueryPath is doing all of that work, basically unaided. It takes the XML document, it parses it, and it builds itself, builds up this SVG. <clears throat> Over here, we have a Flickr feed. And along with domain, subdomain, and topics, um, we get back a bunch of open amplify data about keywords, proper nouns that were used. And here, I think we key on the first most frequently used word, Drupal, and we pull back the first, uh, what is that, four, six, eight, ten images from Flickr that are tagged Drupal. Down here you can see on the left hand side uh, uh, several, a couple dozen of the topics that this article covers. Uh, and this is just straight open amplify data pulled back, and for instance this is good material to, um, to plow into your search engine or keyword system or something like that to direct people around to more content. Now, Twitter also offers an API for web data, and so we can query Twitter also. Here in this case, we're also using Drupal as the keyword. And just pulling back three of the most recent mentions of Drupal from Twitter, Amazon also has a web service, and this one's a little more sophisticated. I asked it for uh, books, specifically books with keyword with at least two matching keywords. Um, and here, in most of these cases, it looks like it got Drupal and Matt, since we have Matt Westgate, Matt Butcher, uh, and Drupal for all these books. And then in the middle, we have a Technorati search, and Technorati is searching on the first three terms. So presumably, we're searching on Drupal, Matt, and APIs, or we may be searching on well, we don't have a topic list there. So basically, what, I, what I've tried to accomplish here is to use, in this case, a half a dozen different web services to pull in an incredible amount of information without having to really do any legwork myself. QueryPath and the web services we've looked at here are doing all of the work for us. And this is just an illustration of how QueryPath can be used to build up robust websites with just a minimal investment of time 
and really do a lot to streamline what your organization wants to present on their uh, on their website. So thank you very much.